Okay, so let's talk about what's going on here. Um, you know that I have wood DIY vapor blaster plans that show you how to build this exact machine, which is 42 this way, 30 that way, and I think like 30 or something tall as well. Um, and I've always thought about scaling this much larger, um, but one issue in my head I'm like, you know, what's going to be a problem is the funnel angle is going to go from steep to shallow as you increase length, and therefore will the slurry flow back down into the pit? Because that's all that this funnel does, is just gets it all right back down to the drain. Um, so, short answer is yes, this can be scaled much bigger. Uh, what I have here is to simulate if the funnel was eight feet long. Plywood comes in four by eight sheets, right? So if this sucker was eight foot long, you would get this angle. And then what I did is I just jacked up one side of the machine to match that angle, and I'm splashing slurry on that funnel wall, and guess what? It all slides right back down into the pit, no problem. So this thing can be scaled to four, I'm sorry, eight foot long, four foot wide, you know, to make good use of uh, plywood and four feet tall. I mean, and I plan on building a much bigger vapor blaster uh, later this year um, just to show that it can be done. But in the meantime, what I can do, this whole thing is in CAD. I got this whole freaking thing done in CAD, and I did that be before I even cut any wood. And man, you know, when you do something in CAD, you can really spot out issues ahead of time. And then when you go to build it, as long as your prints are correct, bam, you you know, it's, it's perfect, right? So um, if you follow the prints and make all the cuts, this all goes together perfect, right? So what I plan on doing is I'm going to revisit my CAD model, and I want to set it up in such a way where I can easily tweak a few dimensions, and then bam, it spits out all the new uh, wood pieces. I'll have to clean up some prints and, and some assemblies and whatnot, but I want to think ahead and say, hey, I know uh, people are going to request different sizes, so I want to make that easy on myself. It'll be some work up front, but setting up the model to do that uh, is going to be awesome because right now it's kind of you know, set up to be a one-size deal. Uh, if I change one part, the others won't update. So I kind of want to do like a, uh, a base model that you uh, change the dimensions and then bam, all the parts change automatically. Anyway, I'm getting carried away here. So what I want to do is create plans or prints for a bigger cabinet. So the plans the video footage would show you how to build this, but if you want a larger cabinet, you would just print out and cut out the wood for the dimensions of a larger one. So, what size um, do we want to go with next? I don't know, I'm asking you guys that, so please comment below. Right now it's 42 by 30, but how about uh, 60 by 40? By 40. Um, and maybe I'll come up with a few different sizes. Um, but anyway, in my private Facebook group that has the uh, the people who bought the plans are in there. I asked the question, and uh, most are concerned about fitting a motorcycle frame in one of these. Yes, this will fit like a dirt bike frame that the subframe pops off and whatnot. That'll fit in here. Um, but people that have replied said, hey, I need 52, 55. One guy said 60, so I said, all right, well, what about... 60 by 40 by 40. Maybe I'll work on that first and get that released, and then that way you guys can uh, have that info. Um, so anyway, that's all I want to do in this video is I kind of want to get an idea from you guys. What size cabinet would you like to see? Because wood is scalable, and this test proves that the slurry will flow down, so therefore it's a no-brainer to just provide you with prints to build the, the, one, the size you want. This size works perfect for me in all aspects, and it fits you know, under the shelf and everything, and I built it for me, kind of, and it's, it happens to be a nice size, but I know some of you guys want way bigger. Okay. Also, we'll do a quick uh, slurry test. I'll kind of get the camera in here and so you can see how it flows down nicely, no issues there, and what makes me... Okay, so this is a really crappy view. 
camera's kind of in the way, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to splash the slurry on the door, and it's going to go down that funnel piece, which is the smallest angle. So I'm just going to go ahead and aim it. And just look at that funnel piece. Here, let me point to it. So it's this one right here, right there, what I'm spraying. Look how it just flows down, no problem. So it takes almost no angle whatsoever. And then if I stop, you can see it all flows down. And you can hear it draining into the pit. Now obviously it's piling up on the door and the wood piece because we're like at a negative angle. Um, but this, pr this test proves that very little angle and it flows just fine. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this video. Please comment below what size you'd like to see, what sizes of prints should I uh, come out with. Again, I'm going to set up the model, and then once a, a size is requested or whatever, it'll take me a couple hours to generate the print package so I can upload it to the plans. Um, so that's pretty much it.